I'm so happy you're being honest with us because we've all been influenced. Yes. LA, were any of these a fail for you? Um, a couple of them come with an asterisk, which okay. I will explain. I would say they all did everything that they said they were going to do, okay. but I didn't necessarily love the end result of all of them. Starting with, mm -hmm. in the front corner here, this guy. I spotted this little attachment, if you can see it, on the soap dispenser there. That's that smart. Is, right? Yes. A little guard to catch all it's of the drips. drips. And I was like, this is perfect because it's always dripping on my Put countertop. In there. Yep. And I snapped it on. <laughs> It does the it's job. doing its job. It did I the snapped job. it on, but this is the asterisk. Went to close my cupboard, and the cupboard doesn't close oh. because I thought that this articulated and closed up, but it doesn't. It's two separate pieces. So just a little note okay. to the manufacturer: it would, it would be great if it did a little something like that. That would be I ordered awesome. another one, also thinking that it articulated. No, nope. yes. same situation. That the bottle just sits right on top of this. Yeah. So. Perfect for somebody who has open storage, mm -hmm. so open shelving in their laundry room, or maybe stores their soaps and detergents in a closet. This is fantastic. Got it. And cheap and cheerful, but not for me. It didn't work for me. Well, what do you think, audience? Do you give this one a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Oh, I still see some thumbs uh, yeah. up and a few thumbs down. A, a couple of like in betweeners. Or yes. like that. Yes. Okay. A few of those. And and for you? It was a wah, thumbs down wah, for wah. me. But it okay. would be great for someone else for sure. that has open shelving. Now, what's but happening here? Can we talk about what is great? Yeah. I found this little product, product that I didn't know I needed, didn't know I wanted, and now can't live without. Okay. It was an immediate add to cart. Yeah. And then it has been a game changer for me. Is it a coffee maker? It's not just the coffee maker. That I already own. But yeah. my coffee maker did not have a timer on it. And I've always had this vision of waking up on a Saturday morning, lying in bed, and having the beautiful scent of a fresh pot of coffee wafting into yes. my room. That's why we have husbands. Well, <laughs> he's a pretty deep sleeper next oh, okay. to me. Okay, never mind. And aside from the nudge, I yeah. found something called the switch bot. Might I draw your attention to this little white box? Okay. This can go pretty much anywhere. And without saying any more, I'm going to show you what it does. I'm lying in bed. Oh, Saturday morning. Can really use a fresh cup of coffee. Pull up my phone. Hit a little button. And <laughs> did we see what happens? And it starts the coffee maker. It's Do it little, again. The little finger that comes oh. with. There you go. There There's you my go. coffee going. Right? It's coming out. So the switch bot you can put on anything. You can put it on a light switch if you want to be able to control lights on yeah. and off, like yeah. from a distance. You can also set it up to be voice activated. Hey Siri, make my coffee. And it'll Oops. start the little switch bot. Yeah. This is so ridiculous and so invaluable. I, I have to it. say, I was not expecting it to be an actual manual finger. finger. <laughs> it's 2023. I expected maybe some magic, but it's no, right? it's a finger it's going boom. literally a remote control finger <laughs> to make my coffee. Okay, audience, what do you think? Are we thumbs up or thumbs down? <laughs> It's basically, yes, a thumbs up. Right? You, and you give it? I give it two thumbs up. Yes. I love me my switch box. Yes. All right, beautiful. Moving right along. Okay, so once my coffee's made, I am notorious for putting my coffee cup, still full of coffee, in the microwave about 47 times a day. Yes. <laughs> because, you know, yes. that's just how I roll. You're busy so mom. I picked up this. Okay. Which is quite stylish. It is a coffee mug warmer, but Beautiful. not just your standard one that you can find online that's plug and play. Mm -hmm. This has features. So you can set your temperature. So whether you've got tea that you want at a bit of a lower temp, 130 okay. degrees, it yeah. can go all the way up to 170. And it has a timer, which I also love. Mm -hmm. So you can set it anywhere from 2 to 12 hours, which is more my jam because that cup of coffee lasts a lot of the day. Totally. And can I just tell you, I put in water in this and put it on, and it's near bubbling inside at the Ooh, highest temperature. That's good. But I also want to point out, there's a little gravity sensor on this, so when yeah. your mug comes off, it shuts off. Oh, which nice. is also quite smart. Are, right? we, are we thumbs up, thumbs down? Thumbs oh, yeah. up, lots I love of thumbs the enthusiasm. up. And and LA, you are thumbs up. Thumbs, thumbs up on up. this. You know Beautiful. what else? I'm going to pre-give this a thumbs up because I'm so jazzed about it. Okay. This silly little thing. It looks so silly, it looks but it's, cute. it's adorable. Like for a dollhouse or something. A little acrylic lemon squeezer okay. that looks like a little birdie. So what are we yeah. doing with this? We're going to open this. Okay. We are going to take our little delicate slice of lemon oh, and put cute? it inside. Yeah. And then we are going to squeeze. And now we have what would be similar to a gravy boat, yeah. but for lemon juice. And look at this. 
pouring oh. right up. So great for salads, for fish. I just think how cute would these be? They come in a set of two for That's ten dollars. How cute would these be at every place setting when you're serving a little nice meal for people yes. to add their little lemon? So cute. What do we think? So well, we want to see Kieran do it. So oh Kieran's yes, we in do. Our audience, and we gave her a little lemon. I call it a gravy boat. <laughs> the lemon, gravy, a lemon boat. gravy boat. That works. Can you try it, Kieran? Yeah, I mean uh, it's artfully functional. I would buy it. Right. You buy it, right? Yes, totally. Um, I'm a gadget girl, so I would totally buy perfect this. Perfect for spring. Little squeeze. It's perfect. Yes. And I'll say this too. If you're someone that's using that lemon every day, every day I put it in my water. In water. Every day you're putting it in your tea. Yes. I think that that's great. So are we saying? What are we saying? Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Thumbs what do we up? like? It? We like it. We like it. Yes. I like it. I like yes. it too. Definitely. Okay. Okay. Next up. Moving swiftly along. Wait. Can I have one? Yes, you Thank may. You. Get them while you can because although this bag is open now, mm -hmm. you need this little gadget to reseal the bag. So no more chip clips, my friends. Okay. Any bag, any plastic bag. This little thing, it's got the on off switch, it's a heat sealer, and I'm going to put it along the top and let me slide you it want me right to hold it? across. I think I am good. So you have to kind of do this a little gingerly. Most nice of us have slow. the clips, which work pretty easily. But you know what? I am constantly running out of clips and can't me find too. them. And look at this. Me too. Fully sealed. With the air still in there. That's good. Fully sealed. And if you're thinking, however, will I get this open again? Not I was going to say, you go that. to the TV room, come back, and you want more, and you sealed it. So little, now what? Little retractable knife right on the top that whoop, and there our oh. bag is open again. And we can dig right in. But how many times do you really need to reseal a bag of chips, right? This is like, it's kind of a one-time open. Maybe never seal it? Never seal it. <laughs> Horrible example. I apologize. But what do you think? No, I. what do you think? Super yes, cute, right? Yes, Super major cute. thumbs up. I give that major thumbs up. Okay, I we love have a that. couple quick more ones. Yeah, go for it. Go quick for ones it. here. So this. I thought was ridiculous, but I had to have it. Again, add what to cart. Is this is a little mini colander okay. that goes on your canned goods. I just looked at the audience and I saw a gaping mouth. Because yes, <laughs> this is about to happen. Now you don't have to pull out the big colander. You can strain oh. all of your things Beans, without pulling out the giant colander. I think it's awesome. What do you think? Yeah? They think it's awesome. I'm okay with it. <laughs> you can live without it. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. No, but I like it. It's a little thing. It does a lot. I want to know what the lamp is yeah. at the end. We're going to end with this one. Okay. This is my ultimate asterisk today. Okay. What happened? So what does it do? What happened? A good question. <laughs> I saw repeated posts from influencers. So, yes, I, I totally was influenced. Yes. About candle warmers. And I was intrigued. And the idea is you stick your candle underneath this little lamp, you crank it to the max, uh -huh. and it melts the wax to get the scent into the air without having to burn the candle. Why don't we just okay. burn the candle? Okay. Again, I bought this and I was like, so I could have just lit the candle. I now can, people can see me from Mars because it's so <laughs> bright and I've killed the ambiance of lighting the candle. Yeah. And $85. Oh. Hey, how do we feel about it? <laughs> this was a big wah, wah, wah. It's pretty cute though. Think about it before you were influenced or just follow LA. She'll tell you the good stuff.